In this video, we are going to learn how to create tables with a SQL query. After creating the database, we will create a table. The create table statement is also very easy. The create table statement allows us to configure our table, our columns, and all relations and constraints. With the create table command, we are going to pass the table name and a list of column definitions. We are going to add a table called student to the previously created database university. Our student table will have a student name, the student's full name, student ID, that will be unique ID, and grade for each student. That can be A, B, C, D, or F. And the course the student enrolled on. We can click on SQL tab. And we need to set the current database as university. And we can use this command. You can also have an option to select from the left side, but I'm going to use a query to select the current database. So that will be use and then university and then the semicolon. And after this, I'm just going to click on go. Now our database is selected. And to create our table, I'm just going to add this one again, you know, use university and then create table and table name will be student and it will have a student ID and its type will be Warchar car and its length be 10 yeah, so it can have maximum up to 10 characters in student ID then I'm going to add a student name and type will be warchar I will make this one also warchar it is both for characters Warchar. And the maximum length for this will be 50. And then I'm going to add uh, another column and name it uh, grade. And type will be car, just the one character, because student grade can be A, B, C, D, and so on. Just the one character. I'm gonna be grade and I'll car and of limit is one and then I will have another column course and this will be watch R and it can ha have up to 50 characters and at the end I'm going to make our student ID a primary key that means it will be a unique ID and we can look up a student with its uh, unique uh, ID and this cannot be null. So for that, I need to use primary key. Primary key and pass in the student ID. Uh, student id and just need to close our statement now first we are going to select our university database and then create a table student inside that database and i just need to click on go button and we can go to our database 
and see if the table is created you can see over here the execute it executed the query for us and we can go to the databases and then our university database you can see over here our student table we can also browse there is no data inside right now so i'm just going to go back to our student table and look at the structure you can see those fields those column name in our table that we added this way we can select the database and create a table inside it with the columns that we want to keep on learning please subscribe to my youtube channel asim code keep supporting me and thank you for watching